welcome back viewer at the AFCON 2019 Egypt still happens here at Sportsugu. We'll break down to you all the highlights that are happening. And today's set we are joined by another gentleman. He says alikuwa kwa jam. Timothy. Alikuwa kwa jam ya ndege ama ni itapi. Jam ya mkate. Shit. Let's take this Just to put you a, a little bit at uh, at bay at what we are discussing about. We were talking before we went for that short commercial break. We were talking about the yesterday's games, whereby we saw South Africa stumble into Ivory Coast, Tunisia managing a draw with Angola. But specifically, I would like to ask you the previous question: Kenya versus Tanzania. Okay. How do you see that game? Ah, I see Kenya win. Evo. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you are all optimistic yeah. that Kenya will it's go past Tanzania. Not even Hope does not bring goals. Yeah. Eh? Sure. <laughs> okay, so if Timothy says so and the rest of yeah. the crew say so, so we're going to go and wish, we wish our own Harambe stars all the best. We are behind you all through. We want to reach to the knockout stages. So guys, quickly let's look at the <coughs> ongoing Copa America games whereby it's been really tough for some teams uh, with the likes of uh, Argentina Mm. Let's say wana wameangukia kukua penye wako. Argentina wameangukia kucheza na Qatar. Kucheza na Qatar. <laughs> that yeah, let's just say that. Huh? <laughs> that is so I wish at half one wangekuwa na leta maybe team again is a is it chini chini hizi kidogo at least tuna do hiyo. Haiti team Kenya. Mm. Like ni pia Kenya na Zanyorosha na team Kenya. Kenya we compare na Argentina hapa na wewe. Zero dogo. Okay, so we are talking about the ongoing 2019 Copa America which is happening in the in Brazil and the host nations are all, uh, already in the quarter finals whereby they will be taking on Paraguay, Venezuela playing against the one man side that is Argentina. Colombia coming ag uh, up against the uh, Alexis Sanchez, that is uh, Chile. Mm -hmm. Let me say so, because he's leading on the top scorer chart. And also we are going to be having another interesting match, that is Uruguay versus Peru. Yeah. So Zablon, yes. out of these games in the quarterfinals, yeah. which to you is promising to be one game to watch out for? Uh, I think the game for Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good game to watch. Uh, honestly, me, I was voting for Argentina, but mm -hmm. considering the kind of score they brought, uh, okay, they are youngsters, they are doing well mm -hmm. in their local leagues, in the leagues that they are playing, but in that stage, you don't expect them to do that much work. Mm -hmm. you've, you've already seen from the mm -hmm. first game versus Colombia, the second game a draw, and the third game they, they were lucky winners against <laughs> the Against invited the nation invited Qatar. Invited nation Qatar. Yeah. Okay. So, Timothy, yeah. we have in uh, Colombia versus Chile. That is, I see you representing Alexis Sanchez. <laughs> it need not be told uh, that much. So, Colombia versus Chile, promising to be a good game. Okay, I'll not be biased. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll speak football. I'll not speak. Manchester United <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, considering on Chile, yes, mm -hmm. Sanchez is the top scorer. But if you look at Colombia, we have the likes of James Rodriguez. It's it's a good team, and it's a challenging team. But also Chile is a very it's a very defined team. I'd say that Colombia might win, but mm -hmm. but <laughs> but let me speak Manchester United now. <laughs> Chile, Chile might win. Because Alexis more. Sanchez is stopping the goal uh, goal scoring chart. <laughs> not only so, remember not only he has Sanchez. tied with a lot of people, including yeah. the Coutinho. likes of Felipe Coutinho. We also Cavani. have in, uh, Everton. Cavani. He's called Everton, 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 Brazilian. Brazilian. Everton yeah. the Brazilian, and also Edison Cavani and Luis Suarez. But not forgetting. Yeah. If if you look at Colombia and Chile. <laughs> Let's say Chile is the underdog. Mm -hmm. People people will not expect Chile to win against Colombia. Mm -hmm. But I'm 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 vouching for Chile. Mm -hmm. Not not on Manchester United. With side. the likes of Edas uh, Vargas in the team. Exactly. Vargas. I'm not vouching because I'm a Manchester United fan. I'm vouching on football. I think Chile will, will win. Chile will win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jeff, going to you, Uruguay versus Peru. Uh, Uruguay is a good team with good players with the likes of Edison Cavani, Luis Suarez, mm. uh, Godin. Diego, Diego, Diego we've seen the likes of Lucas Torreira, Torreira. who has really sh uh, shown in 
uh, Arsenal colors. Mm. Yeah. So what's your take on this Uruguay versus Peru? I mentioned Arsenal uh, yeah. because yeah. he yeah. plays yeah. for we, Arsenal. We all know that. Eh? We all know that. Relax. So uh, as much as Uruguay has class, eh? mm -hmm. Peru <coughs> has proven to be a hard nut to crack in this competition. It has shown some good flair in the, in the terms of how they play, how they pass, how they attack, how they defend. Mm -hmm. But uh, if Uruguay want to break up Peru, mm. I will re if I was Ur Uruguay's coach, I will really add Cavani mm -hmm. and Suarez. Those are two goal-scoring machines, mm -hmm. and they've proven themselves already. Cavani plays for PSG, Suarez plays for Barcelona. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's not once that he has scooped Golden Boots, mm -hmm. golden boot Awards. Yes. So if I was them, <laughs> I will, if I was Uruguay, we should attack. As much as Peru are, are a constant threat, eh? we should attack. Just get the early goal, settle your nerves, now play the football. So to you guys, mm. uh, which teams do you think are going to are headed to the semi-finals? Mm. For me, should I say one or, or all four? Or the four, <laughs> the four teams. We are having Brazil, Paraguay, mm. Venezuela, Argentina, Colombia, Chile, Uruguay, Peru. Which teams do you think are going to the final four? Colombia. Uh -huh. Venezuela to some extent. Uh -huh. If if surprising as if it Rondon mm -hmm. is in <laughs> on his finest days, uh -huh. he might as well drive yeah. Venezuela to the second. Okay, so the yeah. other team so <coughs> the other team is uh, Brazil. Have I said Brazil? I've said Brazil, mm -hmm. Venezuela, Venezuela, Colombia, Colombia Chile. Colombia uh -huh. and uh, the Uruguay. last one. No. Peru. Uh, that one I'll give Peru. Let yeah. me just be optimistic. Okay, <laughs> team of the which teams do you see going to the last four of this competition? I'll, I'll defend mm -hmm. your Arsenal, your <laughs> Arsenal player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think Argentina will pass. Mm -hmm. uh, Chile. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this is tough. Mm -hmm. um, for the rest, I'll say I'll just pass. I'm not Zapa. very sure. Okay, but I'll just say pass. American football. All those countries, they are not scared of each other. Exactly. Like, there was a time Peru thrashed Brazil five goals. Five goals, So, yeah. uh, it's, it's something that's hard to, to say, but uh, on my side, I think I'll go with Brazil. Mm -hmm. Argentina, though, they'll get a fluky win. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, I'd really love to see Argentina win mm -hmm. this thing, but... At As least a fan of Messi, to be in the contention <laughs> no. of uh, Balland. Because uh, 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 already uh, Cristiano Ronaldo has a... As Euro, UEFA Nations. UEFA Nations. I'm not voting yeah. for them to win. And he's also booked a ticket to the Euro 2022. Yeah, I'm not voting for them to win. 20, I'm voting for that them is Euro to just 2020. Proceed. Mm. To proceed. <laughs> I'm yeah. not voting for yeah. them to win. To, to proceed. proceed. <laughs> so I think Brazil, Argentina, yeah. the the other two are. That is uh, Colombia. Chile. Mm -hmm. I think Chile will go forward. And, and Uruguay. Uruguay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uruguay, I, I'm a really big fan of Torreira, though I'm not an Arsenal <laughs> fan. He's a really promising That's what's up. The people are... Uh, <laughs> ah, please, no, please, please, no, please, please, please. They just, no. they just John argue from Gigi, them. <laughs> no, they <laughs> just <laughs> argue from <laughs> the bad perspective, not from the individual Let us discuss football, you not club. No, yeah. Okay, I know but if let's bring just say the truth. Torreira okay. is a really promising He's a good player, player yeah. but we are not talking about Arsenal. Okay. <laughs> yes. I know if you status. bring matters of <laughs> England here, there might be fireworks. Uh, have a good player here. Can't. Yeah. Okay, viewer, you already know it's not only the men who are playing. We are also having the ongoing Women's World Cup, whereby our own African team that many people looked out for, that is Cameroon, were bundled out uh, in a very disappointing manner by mm. England. Jeff, mm -hmm. Cameroon uh, were about to to start to walk out of that game. Yeah, but against uh, England, were they fair games? Was that an offside or? I believe the VAR. When you sum up the these, whole these are the negative effects of VAR. <laughs> as much as it, as it has mm -hmm. positives, eh? mm -hmm. these are the negative effects of VAR. Uh, the 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 coach, eh? Alain Jemfu, mm -hmm. Jemfu, I mean. Eh? They insisted that they didn't refuse to play, but they were very angry mm -hmm. with the decisions. You could against. see the disappointment. The, the protests mm -hmm. in the, the game. Protest, yeah. Yeah. VR went against them mm -hmm. on quite several occasions. Many right? occasions. So, um, and so. It, had, it had the fans f ha having the feeling that maybe VR, at it, 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 is in, it was bent mm -hmm. to help. Uh, Remember England. these are machines and they are built by people. 
the so people who are controlled to and humanity. there's a referee yeah, yeah. who's watching i believe the, the the goal that was ruled offside it wasn't offside at mm, all at all because the player that was retreating from an offside position eh, had no idea the ball was being played forward mm -hmm. yeah okay timothy yeah. Mm -hmm. what's your take on these remaining teams in the women's world cup i know it's quite the host nation uh, thrashing uh, brazil to france uh, they are also in the contention to this world cup to you, whom do you see going all the way to the final? Are the host nations favorite in this competition? Mm. Um, Bearing in mind that the men's are the defending champion of the World Cup, will they repeat the same? If they have the mentality, no. Mm -hmm. If they have the same mentality, no. Mm -hmm. If they want to like be what the men are, there's, there's a thing that we, women, women, ca women what a man can what do, a woman, woman, woman can, can do, do better. better. Yeah. There's nothing like that. Yeah. And football. Yeah. I, I hope football. GPS would be attacked. <laughs> but there's nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, yes, they, they, they're a good team. Mm -hmm. But for the host, if, if I, I hope they do what they, they do best. Mm -hmm. And they don't turn out to be as what Brazil showed us. Mm -hmm. But I, for myself, I vouched for USA. USA. Yes, because yeah. there's a player called Alex Morgan. Uh -huh. She's a So you already identified the particular players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, Zablon. Yeah. Some of these players, the women players, mm -hmm. are supposed to be signed, are supposed to be playing in the England. Uh, Especially yeah. for Manchester United <laughs> men teams. <laughs> That's not not the one who I'm not the one who Let me defend Manchester United. Yes, but I'm the legs of Akina. Marcus Rashford, yeah. just because you finish six, you know. being compared to women now. Some, some uh, of these no. women are supposed to be. Remember, our uh, women's no. side was the Premier League. Yeah? But okay. I think <laughs> Zablon. So what, let's let's <laughs> leave the match. <laughs> Before the let's leave the anything. Manchester no, United. I'm not leaving this at the, do, do you have any signings? Okay, we shall be coming <laughs> to the, the to this the This is Arsenal. Just the drop time it. is right. <laughs> so Zablon. Yeah. Uh, the ongoing African, uh, the World Cup, women's World Cup. Which team has really excited you going uh, Basically, I'm a USA fan mm -hmm. by default <laughs> because of beautiful football, uh -huh. of course. Uh, the likes of Megan Rapino, mm -hmm. she's a very good passer. Okay. I think Ozil should really <laughs> get ah, some now, tips now from there. I think we said that when <laughs> we were in the Ozil. We yeah. this story later. Uh, the host <laughs> nation, France, they have the capability of winning. Because uh, they really have good players from the Olympic Lyon side, mm -hmm. the current, the reigning champions of UEFA Champions, champions League women. Yeah. So, with that, if they carry, if they carry that morale with them to the World Cup, they might be able to do something. But for me, I'm seeing a final of USA versus France if mm -hmm. they don't get to meet mm -hmm. e to meet each other uh, anywhere in the mm -hmm. semi-finals. But uh, if the, the final will be France versus USA. USA. I think it will be a very good match. Earlier on, watch. had said uh, I'm I'm looing against Brazil to win this competition, and they're already out. So <laughs> they had all the players. Next of Marta. Yeah, but, but I Marta think they're already good. outside right now, and also my director is a new USA fan, yeah. so yeah. I think he's still in the contention for this. Uh, Manchester cup. blood. Yeah. <laughs> you are, I tell you, today when it comes to England, you are swallowing bitter saliva. No, when it comes to England, <laughs> these people do attack me, the Manchester United fans. So, viewer, remember we in that segment, uh, mm. that is a Chelsea fan, mm. Zablo. Mm. Okay, viewer, remember we in that segment whereby we say it's the prediction center, the, our analyst over here get to tell us what they think of the upcoming matches that are happening. And on this month, we said we shall be focusing on the AFCON 2019 happening in Egypt, whereby tonight we are having very interesting matches. Maybe we don't have much time, but we need to predict these games. We are having very, very good games. Defending champions Cameroon playing against Guinea-Bissau, and also we are having Ghana playing against Benin. Maybe to you, Jeff, mm -hmm. we start off. Cameroon, a good side. Good top players with the lights of uh, 
Chipo Monteng on the squad in the next game. Yeah, very yeah Abubakar, but I very think many, he's missing with the injury. Yeah. So what's your take on, uh, on this game? Cameroon, really Cameroon. I hope the, the, the issues they had mm -hmm. before coming to the competition, because they, they arrived, I think, 24 hours later to the date that they were to arrive. Eh? Mm -hmm. I hope they turn those issues eh, to motivation, mm -hmm. to motivate themselves. If they're on, on a good day, they might score two goals to nil. Two goals to nil, yeah. given against. Yeah. <coughs> it is Cameroon and uh, Guinea Bissau. Guinea Bissau. Mm -hmm. Two nil. Two nil. Yeah. Okay, to you, Timothy. How? What's your take on this game, Guinea Bissau versus <coughs> Cameroon? Cameroon have proved themselves, and uh, against Guinea Bissau, Guinea, it's like Liverpool and Tottenham. Mm -hmm. So Guinea Bissau have nothing to lose, but I'd watch for Cameroon again. Mm -hmm. But three goals to one. Three goals to one. Yeah. So Zablon to you, Cameroon versus Guinea Bissau coming yeah. into this game uh, as defending champions. Yeah, they are defending champions and as a fan of Samuel Eto, mm -hmm. the most decorated player in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, I go for Cameroon, considering the fact that African football has really improved. Mm -hmm. We are seeing a lot of spaces and we are seeing attackers getting those opportunities and chances. And the way Cameroon have good players, the, I think they are going to be clinical enough and mm -hmm. win this match by three goals. Okay, very quickly, we also have in another game that is Ghana versus Benin. There are you brothers, <coughs> uh, we also have in Christian Atsu, we are having a Samoa Gian who Thomas returned. Thomas Party. Okay, Thomas Party. So, quickly, just tell us your prediction yeah. on Ghana versus Benin. Uh, if you didn't know, apart yeah. from Kenya, I'm a strong Ghanaian fan. <laughs> so, I'll go for Ghana. Ghana winning by four goals to zero. Timothy, what's your prediction on Ghana? I'm returning a squad for why are you getting a stop? Quickly, Mali have yeah. outclassed Mauritania yeah. by four goals. Why is so, so, what's your prediction on the Ghana and the Benin? <laughs> uh, I'll give uh, uh, three goals to nil. Mm. Yeah. In favor of Ghana. In favor of Ghana. Okay, remember we trust Ghana. Okay, Jeff, what's your prediction on this? Uh, game? Ghana, Ghana versus Ghana Spain. any day. Mm. 3 nil, yeah. 3 nil. Yeah. in favor of Ghana. Yes. Okay, viewer, you've had yourself. Choose whoever, uh, whoever you want to invest your money in <laughs> with their right predictions. Uh, you don't have to blame me, blame them, because they're the one who said their prediction. <laughs> Especially this guy. Neutralizing <laughs> the, <laughs> <laughs> neutralizing yes, the yes. set. So, viewer, remember here at Sports Sugo, we shall be bringing you to and uh, the unfolding of the total African Cup of Nations happening in Egypt and getting to know how our own Kenya is doing in that competition. Bringing you also the Women's World Cup and also the Copa America which is happening in France. So until next time, I've been your host, John Gige. It's a wrap from us.